Today I want to talk to you about helmets. The fact you should always have one whenever you're riding. I don't care if you're riding a quarter of a mile or 50 miles. Put on the helmet. I have been out I don't know how many times that I've seen people with baseball caps or nothing at all on. Now, did you know that annually 6,000 cyclists seek emergency care for head injuries? That it accounts for 75% of cycling fatalities? Did you know that this helmet or something similar to it is 90% effective in preventing brain injuries? Whenever you do decide you're gonna use a helmet, make sure you choose a helmet that fits. I mean, I don't know, I've seen little kids wearing helmets and they just kind of bobble around. They really don't fit. So why in the world are they even wearing them? So choose one that actually fits your head. Make sure you adjust the straps, because there are straps on these. Make sure it clicks. And in the back, there's usually a little lever or some sort of turn knob to adjust the internal straps. Make sure you're doing that as well. And another thing that's really important is gloves. I don't know if you realize this, but so far this year, 2014, I've been in two major instances where I've fallen off my bike. And at both times, these gloves actually saved me. Saved my hands, anyway. Um, these happen to be weightlifting gloves, and I absolutely love them. Bicycle gloves work just as well. These gloves, believe it or not, I don't know if you can see it, have been around for 15 years and they almost look brand new. I just throw them in the wash machine, I don't know, once a month or whatever to clean them up. And they just, uh, they're fantastic. But regular bicycle gloves work great too. So I'm going to tell you, please, wear your helmet. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.